whether you know it or not, it might be time for you to start or open your own business. Number seven, you keep talking about it. The old phrase of speaking something into existence is extremely real. What happens in most instances is when you find yourself being passionate about something or interested in something, you kind of say it out loud in order to kind of hear how it sounds to you. But in a way, you're also doing it to convince yourself that it's a good idea. So if you find yourself constantly talking about it, it might be a hint to you that you might want to think about going out on your own. Number six, people are encouraging you. A good hint that it may be time for you to go out on your own if you find yourself being encouraged by friends and family members to branch out on your own because of the skills that you have, that might be a telltale sign to you that you might wanna give some serious consideration to doing your own thing. Number five, there's a demand for what you do. You may not realize it, but there may be a demand for what you do. Sometimes what happens is when you get so engrossed in doing your normal day-to-day -day thing that you often overlook that there may be a call for your services to be provided. So you start noticing more and more opportunities present themselves. That might be an indication that there's a demand for your services. Number four, you have a passion outside of your job. I am not gonna say that you have to go to work every day gung-ho, but what happens is when you start getting the bug, or you start thinking about going outside and doing your own thing, what ends up happening is that energy and passion that you may have had for your job starts to redirect itself to what you're thinking about doing outside of the job. So if you start noticing that your passions start to shift, that might be a clear indication that maybe it's time for you to start your own thing. Number three, your job is going away. This may be harsh, but a lot of times when you're working for an employer, you want to believe, and some of us probably want to believe we're going to be there for the long haul. But if you're smart and you're paying attention to the progression of your company, you might notice that there's a fairly good chance that your job may be disappearing. So when you're thinking about making that transition, if you see that your job might be leaving, you might want to take a proactive step earlier as opposed to waiting until that moment actually happens. Number two, you are tired of working for someone. Let's be honest with you. Most people, we are conditioned as a society to have a chain of command, an employer, an employee, a supervisor, a subordinate. That's the normal thing that you find in the workplace. But the simple fact of the matter is, you may find yourself at a point where you decide that you are no longer interested in someone dictating what you do or evaluating your performance. Number one, you realize that it's now or never. There is one asset that you can't get back, and that's time. And what you're going to find is the longer you stay at a place, while you still have that burning desire inside of you to start your own thing, you start getting to the point that you start thinking that your time is valuable, and every day you spend giving it to someone else is less time you could spend dedicating it on yourself. So you start to realize that if I'm going to make this thing happen, I better make it happen now. Thank you for checking out the video. Subscribe by clicking the button down below. You have a right to succeed, and I want to share with you what I and others know to help you get there.